ESPN is despondent beyond repair because the only thing people are talking about today and the only thing that will be discussed today is Pat McAfee and the things he said about journalistic standards, the way he went after members of the media. Pat McAfee is an interesting man. The puncher for the Indianapolis Colts has found his way into a media empire. He has found the secret sauce that gets him audience, that gets him headlines, and then spent time yesterday bemoaning the very thing that was used to make the brush fire that became the bonfire. It is very hard to find an audience this day and age. Once you find them, it's even harder to keep them. And once you keep them, it's even harder to grow them. And once you grow them, it's even harder to keep them interested and engaged. Don't think I take for granted that we are coming on five years. And don't think, as an example, Dan Lebitard takes for granted the loyalty you've given him for 20 years. It is the fuel that runs through the bodies of those of us with microphones. Pat McAfee would like you to believe that he is misunderstood, that the media, the traditional media is after him. They're angry because journalistic standards that used to matter don't matter anymore. That Pat McAfee has the ability without consequence to do and say things on his show that journalists should not be allowed to do. The difference between a journalist where opinions are not welcomed and sports media, Pat McAfee types, where opinions are the only thing that are needed. If you go to Pat McAfee to learn anything about COVID from Aaron Rodgers, then you deserve to learn what Aaron Rodgers has to say. It is your job as a consumer to understand who is giving the information that you are taking. It is your responsibility to either double check or not, or to verify or not, or to believe or not. I don't want to make it about me. But when I say something, I'm not asking you to believe it. I'm not asking you to agree with me. I'm asking you to think about it because I'm giving you my thoughts. I'm giving you the framing of an issue. And I have enough respect for you as the audience to take it from there, to interact with you. McAfee's secret sauce is a little different. It's more Anvil-like. The point that I would make is that if he's going to be on a panel and ESPN wants to put him there like a show dog in front of members of the media, you can bet your bippy that the result is going to be a headline that makes Jimmy Pitaro and Bob Iger despondent. When you ask a CNBC reporter to be in a room with Pat McAfee and that CNBC reporter wants to talk about journalistic standards, do you think that Pat McAfee's response is not going to be define journalistic standards? Do you think Pat McAfee has journalistic standards? the way that Dan Rather does. And I say that example with all irony to those who get it. There has never been an example of someone who's perfect. You can go back over time with people who are giving you the news once in a while opinion gets in there, once in a while manipulation gets in there, bias creeps in, it oozes in like a Ghostbusters river of crap. Trust. Trust is the currency that we crave. Do you trust Pat McAfee? Why wouldn't you? You're not asking him for investment advice, are you? You're not asking him to be at the table and solve Middle East peace, are you? You're asking him to be exactly what he claims to be, which is someone in a tank top 
who's going to make you smile, make you wince, make you cringe, and make you say, wow, that's awesome. He will make you your hair stand on the back of its head with the level of entertainment as well as the level of jocularity. You cannot possibly mistake Pat McAfee for someone who is a serious journalist. And there's nothing wrong with that. He doesn't have, his job description is not, I'm going to teach you about nuclear disarmament. I am going to explain to you what trickle-down economics is. I am going to tell you what is going on with COVID. And I don't want to hear one objection from one parent who says, man, McAfee's got to be better. My kids are watching and I can't have my kids thinking that Aaron Rodgers knows what the hell he's talking about because he's a franchise Mount Rushmore quarterback. Pat said that yesterday. What a crock of crap. We'll be doing documentaries about Aaron Rodgers in 25 years. Yeah, documentaries that'll be watched by nobody. But I digress. Speaking of which, Aaron Rodgers may get his weekly slot back on the show. If Aaron Rodgers is a weekly guest on the Pat McAfee show, Jimmy Pitaro might as well just say, Pat, you've got the keys. Because the money would say he has the keys. Some of the actions would say he has the keys. Some of the uh, the give and take between him and his co-workers may indicate he has the keys, but you cannot allow Aaron Rodgers to spew his crap 